Hi, Snake people. Tribe. I love you. Hope you're doing well. Hi, Snake Tribe. Uh, you should, you should talk to me instead of Skip. No, he doesn't know you. He knows me though, like IRL. So anyway, uh, but we're gonna get into our winners finals match here, starting off on Battlefield. We've got JTJ Jake taking on Frog here. I have no idea how this match was supposed to work for Bayonetta. Um, but one thing I can you. tell you, it probably hmm. doesn't. Probably. Who knows? Maybe it's one of those. Maybe it's another one of those awkward matchups that like a mid tier uh, just beats the absolute crap out of a top tier or something like that. Top high tier. It's definitely possible, but I think that Steve just has too many burst options, especially once they get towards higher percents where Bayo's combos are going to stop working. Uh, mm -hmm. Steve's burst options don't stop working. Uh, and that's the that's the big thing that's going to separate these two characters. Like these up tilts coming out here, sure they're not doing great yet, but as soon as Frog stops being able to use like their their witch twist combos, it's going to be trouble. And just like that, like four hits brought them back to even. Yep. Oh, that could be huge. Not gonna take the kill there. Good di. Eighty percent. Is that eighty percent even? Nope. No longer. Doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. No. Uh. Nothing matters. You know. Nothing matters. Oh, but geez. Anyways, minecart matters because it does it does everything for you, dude. It cooks your breakfast. It does your homework. It you know it washes the dishes when it's done. And there it we gets go. Smashed by frog. There we go on the board with the up smash. Doing a good job fighting the the uh the, well, the Enderman, I guess, right now. So um, yeah, I mean. Just good stuff all around. I mean, nothing nothing super crazy yet. I mean, has a solid lead. They don't have to approach. I don't understand what Frog's doing here. Uh, dying. That's what Frog's doing. Dying to mine. Well, listen. I think what Frog needs to do is just leave that bottom block alone because that's allow allows the minecart to actually go through it. Uh, I sure. You know, but how is Frog going to approach if not by getting rid of that bottom block? Well, I mean... Oh, my God. They keep getting caught by it, though. Just yeah, so I think that's something that Jake's going to start to figure out here as we move forward. So it just kind of comes down to uh, Frog just not getting caught up in all of this mess. Dude, Minecart literally paid my college tuition. Like, I don't know what that's that even is, supposed to mean. It does so much. It does... No, it does Minecart much. is a war crime. You want to talk about moves that are war crimes. Yeah, minecart. how do you think it got the money for college tuition? Huh? <laughs> war crimes are very profitable. Jeez, okay, we're getting political now, man. I, oh, yeah. anyway, uh, gonna be able to take the stock right there. Speaking of getting political, that was uh, a little bit much there. It might need to calm down just a tad. Dead right, silent. Well. Yep, I think he's gone. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> you're, you're way out of the fucking radar now, man. I, I got nothing for you. But here we go, man. Uh, hopefully, Frog is just, uh, yeah, this is all Frog needs to do now. Frog doesn't need to go in at all. Just Honestly, we could just be sitting here waiting for a timeout from Frog the rest of the way. Steve doesn't have the mobility to be able to handle this type of, you know, platform camping. Bit of damage right there for Frog. Going to pick up 41% before being caught yet again by Minecart. Now, Jake, searching for this back air or something at least take the stock but going to break his diamond pick before he gets the chance to and going to have to craft a new one frog absolutely content to bounce from platform to platform while jake spends his time mining all right going okay Ooh, this is gonna be hurt this is gonna hurt yeah probably there we go not gonna be able to take the stock though but definitely put on some good damage now is a nice little uh stock lead here oh almost dying too Jeez. I do Ooh. like how, uh, how, that's it, oh, he's that's dead. it, oh, he's, <gasps> was that, <laughs> what was all that, okay, 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 we're gonna, we're gonna close it out there, Frog's gonna take the win, but jeez, that was so weird, I know you can't see my face right now, uh, but there's just shock and awe and utter disbelief painted across my visage right now because what the hell was that um uh, bayonetta's being bayonetta bayonetta yeah. culture you know <laughs> yeah it's a little bit I really do be like that sometimes and knowing jake he is not going to take that lightly he is probably tilted right now 
Okay, well, we'll see uh, what happens here. It really just kind of comes down to um, uh, just Frog just kind of taking the first stock, which they've been doing really, really well this whole time. And then just taking their time. They don't have to approach. It's up to, up to Jake uh, to kind of approach everywhere here. They don't have, like, Frog doesn't have to do anything. 53% though off of one side B. 74 and still counting Frog. Uh, kind of maybe got powered up by the set with Enarmonia. Who knows? Because they are out here and they are ready for winter side grant. Okay. Well, we'll see how this plays out. But right now, man, Frog is doing one hell of a job. Yep, going to get the fourth throw. Going to go right through the dirt block as well. No, it's going to be... Jake just can't get their foot on the ground. And when they finally do, it's under the effects of Witch Time. So, going to get smacked in the face by the giant hair fist and sent to the Blast Zone. And now Frog, almost none the worse for wear, having already lapped Jake in percent and still pouring it on. This is a different player than we saw earlier. Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, and continues to put on some good damage here. Frog, I think, has really found the uh, the gameplay that they need to really take it to Jake. And that's the thing is Jake's going to sit here and, you know, try to get all of their materials and stuff like that. They could do all that if they want, but, like, it doesn't matter if you're not approaching. Like, Frog will sit here the entire time and do absolutely nothing. Knowing Frog, they absolutely will. They will let that 5 minutes and 30 seconds wear down the clock. Not moving from this position on the platform. They're going to leave it all the way up to Jake. If Jake doesn't approach, they just win from timeout. See? I mean, hey, Jake's good for get, them. <laughs> Jake's going to get impatient, try and make the approach, and Frog's just going to keep avoiding him. Yeah, here's the thing. Like, so, like, Steve, again, Steve does not have great mobility. Like, yeah, you got Minecart, uh, you know, Redstone, maybe you move a little bit horizontally. But, like, in terms of, like, platform camping and stuff like that, I don't think Steve really has the mobility to do that. Like, yeah, you can start using some of your blocks. Like, Jake could be setting up some, like, some walkways here and stuff like that. But, um... This is definitely uh this is definitely gonna be tough. Jake is frustrated. You can see it from the way he's moving. Now stop playing Steve. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> maybe maybe the Mario will come out after if if this game continues to go the way that it is currently progressing. I maybe. think for sure we're gonna see the Mario come out. Maybe even the Bowser. Something that a lot of people forget is that Bowser has a pretty favorable matchup against Bayo. Despite being a uh, big old body that serves as combo fodder, you can kill Bayo around 70, and with Tough Guy, especially on the ground, you can get mm -hmm. out of quite a bit. Uh, yeah, this is this is frustrating for Jake, to say the least, because there's just nothing he can do. Every yeah, time you know what? I, to approach, oh. Yeah, every, oh, he is going to get the F-Smash there, but it's not going to kill. Every time Jake tries to make the approach, they just get stuffed out by Frog. And if they don't approach, Frog is absolutely happy to chill on the top platform for the rest of the duration of the match. Yep. So you know what? Maybe Bayonetta does have a good matchup against Steve. I mean, she's got some good horizontal mobility, which I think a lot of people tend to struggle um, with when it comes to Steve, because Steve can kind of, you know, literally create a wall. <laughs> like, so, uh, oh, trying to go from up to, yeah, trying to take the second stock there too. You know, I kind of respect that, but yeah, this this could be just a bad matchup. Who knows? Bayonetta does have some weird matchups against some uh, some great characters. Like, uh, for instance, Rob. I know a lot of people like to complain about Rob, but Bayonetta does very, very well. well Bayonetta Rob is booty for Rob. Now, stalling their way up at the top of the blast. Oh, this throw. should be a kill. Yeah. Yep. Up there yeah, is but... finally going to kill, but 148%. Frog just needs to breathe. Uh, and Jake will probably die here. Yeah, got to be careful. Frog's starting to get too complacent. And now Jake just put out a whole bunch of damage. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> This is what you get, Frog. This is what you get. <laughs> Placency breeds weakness. Oh, that man. Is Sun Tzu promise and demonstrated perfectly right there. Yeah, no, Jake's uh, really turning it up now. I mean, Frog has to has to approach. Like, there's, there's no choice. They're going to drop this game. <laughs> oh there it is. Oh Frog had a full stock lead with 150% extra credit on the board. Oh, so my God. They just had to not approach they you know had what it was? such a skip. lead skip you know what it was there were no sds it has nothing to do with the sds they took game one they just had to not approach <laughs> like that's all you had to do like honestly i'm okay if you just don't want to approach steve i get it steve's not fun to approach in this game <laughs> but like oh my god now now you're tied in games you kind of have to work harder now like i, I don't know this, this is a weird this is a weird spot
Air mains? Work hard? What universe are you in? Ugh. Now, pushing into the next game, that's gonna be a, a confidence booster for Jake, and that's gonna be a, an ego killer for Frog. Yeah, we'll have to see if, uh, if Frog can figure this out now. I mean, they were doing pretty well. It's just, they, they started doing the timeout thing, which is fine. I get it. But, like, they were doing it, and, like, and they they, they, they just got lazy on, on a whole bunch yeah, of stuff. Yeah, so that's, that's the biggest thing about going for timeouts in this game. You need to be actively working to stuff out your opponent the entire time that you go for that timeout. Because as soon as you start to get lazy, as soon as you start to get complacent, that's when they're going to break through your zone and they're going to take back the lead. Okay. Well, let's see what happens here. Minecart going through. Going to send them on a little ride, but Frog will get out of it. Let's see if they can find a way to get some damage in here. They cannot get through this wall that Jake's got going on right now. He definitely wants off Mr. Bones' wild ride, but there is no exit. And a good back air. That's going to decide the first stock for Jake. And, yeah, Frog's in trouble. A yeah, lot Frog's of trouble. in a lot of trouble. All right, going to have a little bit of something here. Not going to kill, though. Oh, wait, they are. Dude, just hold down. What are you doing? Frog back on the board. I don't know what to say about that because it was, it was stupid. Well, that's a lot of damage right there. Having those diamond tools put on some good damage. Starting with the up tilt. There's like... This entire set has had extremely suspicious DI from both players. Mm. Jake right there. Frog on, during the last game dying at like 70 to mid-stage back air. Both of them are like... Uh, if I get hit, I'm not touching the controller. That's not my job. Okay, well, Reduce the minecart there. Ooh. Reduce the minecart there. Going to use yeah. it as a really good uh, in danger tool to just kind of make their escape. And that up smash is going to decide the second stock. Now, Jake with a lead. Let's see what they can do to solidify said lead. Okay, that's a good little forward smash from Frog so far, though. Uh, trying to go off stage, trying to chase Jake a little bit, but not going to be able to get anything out of it. Whoa! I just realized that's a thing, huh? Do the blocks cancel out the hitbox on that? Uh, no. So that is a thing. So, uh, because it's a it's a big old disjoint. It's an intangible disjoint. That's right. So, so no. Jake's gonna have to be careful, actually. Yeah, be really careful of those walls. And I think Frog just now realized that. I don't think Frog <laughs> realized that before. And now that they have, that is a brand new shiny tool in the matchup. We're gonna make fantastic use of. You know what else is a really good uh, brand new shiny tool? Uh is to take the lead, and then if you're going to go for the timeout, keep the timeout going. That's not good. <laughs> but hey, Jake right there going to be able to get that forward smash, sending Frog to the blast zone. Now up 2-1. I felt like this was Frog's to, to hold, man, and then Jake's just finding ways to just get in. Frog got those paper mache hands. Doesn't know when to hold, just sells early. And suffers the consequences of it. Looks like they're just going to run it back to Battlefield. Possibly one last time if Jake can keep up their streak of dominance here. Ever since losing game one and almost getting timed out game two. Jake has been on a warpath. And headed into Winterside Brands. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we'll see where everything goes from here. See if Frog can find a way to kind of... Take a game back because right now, if they lose this, they will go down to loser's bracket where they will eventually take on the uh, winner of Sharp and 8008135. That's totally Monte. the tag. It's nothing else. It's a Monte. No, um, it, it's 8008135. No, we're not yeah. doing this yet. We're not I am. This <laughs> you, you can't sit there and tell me about what game you want to play. You, you do this type of stuff all the time. <laughs> I... Skiff. Skiff, we need an agreement real quick. Okay, what do you what do you want your agreement to be? So, for my terms of the deal, you're not going to call them 8008135. And for my terms of the deal... Oh, what? <laughs> you know what? Screw the deal. Screw the deal. Jake got an F smash right there, and now they are in prime position to continue this, uh, this momentum forward. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a one back air. A second back air. Eating some meat. But here we go, man. Frog starting to get a little bit of something going here, maybe. Oh, jeez. That could have been crazy. Luck. Incredible luck there to get popped up before 
Getting caught by a devastating option. Ethler should not do it quite yet. I'm going to use Minecart to come back to stage. The very high recovery to avoid the threat of gun and an F smash. I'm going to take out the stock right then and there. 60% on Jake right now, but they're still looking strong on this stock. 42% already, and they don't even have a pickaxe anymore. Yeah, but they still got an axe, so they're going to put a little bit of damage there. And there we go, blowing up that stock. But man, Frog is so far behind now. This is actually really, really bad. Jake learned how to play the matchup. Like, they when Frog was circle camping them on the platform, Jake was like frantically Googling, like on, going on Reddit, like going like, how do you play Bayo matchup as Steve? I don't think that's really a thing for Steve Mains. I'm going to be honest. I don't think they sit there and go, how do I fight this character? How do I fight this character? They have a very peculiar, uh, very particular play style. They just got to like follow through with it. That's what it really comes down to. Maybe that's what, the, maybe that's what Reddit said, and Jake just went, oh, yeah, okay, got it. <laughs> yeah, Steve Mains would definitely go to Reddit. Calling them Redditors, Skiff. <laughs> some sort of, yeah, yeah, for some sure. Some sort of derogatory... <laughs> <laughs> Something you want to say to the Steve Mains in chat? Well, actually, you no. Know, Steve Mains are all like they're all like big Minecraft people. So they just go to YouTube, right? Watch, watch the Dream, the the Dream, uh, Stream, Stream, right? Nah, not Dream. We're going to Sky. Sky <laughs> like, does Minecraft, know. baby. Good right, back hey. here from Jake, and that's going to be him moving on to Winterside Grants. Yeah, man. Hey, good stuff to Jake. Uh, Got to be able to get the Grands on Winterside, like you just said, and I repeated it. And uh, we're going to be seeing Frog go down to Losers Finals. Again, Jake finals. going to Winterside Grands.